I recently invented the game Pokemon Chess, and all of my friends loved it. What is this hey, game? That rule is like the dumbest thing. Look, it can't be happening. Yeah, but it's not You're your turn. So I thought, why not share my incredible creation with the world? And with the help of Elzando, we developed a fully functional online version of Pokemon Chess. And when it was finished, I decided to run the world's first Pokemon Chess tournament. I asked eight of the most experienced Pokemon YouTubers to compete against each other for a chance of winning $1,000. And they said... What the fuck is Pokemon Chess? In Pokemon Chess, you assign one Pokemon of each type to every chess piece. If an attack is super effective, your piece gets to move again. But if it's not very effective, both pieces die. So let's find out who is the best Pokemon Chess player of all time. Welcome to the world's first Pokemon Chess tournament. We got $1,000 on the line. Here's how it's going to work. The first stage is round robin, where everyone plays one match against each other. The two players with the highest number of wins will go into a best of three grand final, where the winner gets $1,000 and is crowned the world's best Pokemon Chess player. Any thoughts on the meta before we get started? Get that queen out. Queen is insanely powerful, because if you put an attacking type on the queen... You can go on some, like, multi-kill. And so both Vernius and Alpha Red got their queens out early in the first match. But now, all of a sudden, they can both win in just one turn. You see, Alfred has lined up his fighting type queen to attack the Dark Horn, which is super effective and would let him take Vernius as king. But it's not his turn. Oh my Absolutely god, Vernius has checkmate! Move. He has a big move here, Zach. If he attacks I've the Nose an absolute big one to the Pawnyard, is he gonna see it? <gasps> Wait. No, wait, I can't- Wait, actually, I can't do anything. Shoot, I think I actually just lost. Look how many Should options he has. He could take so many pieces. Imagine the number of tight matchups you need to look at. <laughs> he needs to go- Oh, oh he's no! fumbled! What? He's the fumbled bag. it! How are there five pieces you can take and you blunder take your none. queen? Yeah, so Vernius wasn't the most experienced in Pokemon or chess, which you can see because he already missed checkmate once this game. But luckily for him, Alpharad was also about to make a huge blunder. You could have just taken that pawn, that dark type pawn. No, I was then... I was in check. I couldn't. No, there's no check in this game. What? He really thought there was check in Pokemon Chess. You don't get put in check or checkmate. Instead, it just plays the Pokemon black and white critical health music whenever something targets your king. But you don't need to move your king. Alpha Red could have just won the game by attacking the dark pawn with his queen. Oh, and you could also make illegal moves. Usually, you can't move your king into checkmate. It's illegal. But in this, you can. Oh, yeah. You can also attack a piece with your king. And if it's not very effective, you lose on the spot. That's fun. <laughs> is it? <laughs> so while these guys have a closer look at the rules, let's check in on another match. Asteroid versus Small Land. Uh, I could take here. I mean, it's it's neutral, so I think it just takes. I think it just takes normally like this. What? What? That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. Good game. Okay, so Asteroid wasn't the most experienced either. Let's have a look at Captain Kid versus C CJ. What are you doing? Do not move that pawn, CJ. CJ! Okay. Uh, he really just said, okay. And I win. All right. <laughs> why is that? Why am I allowed to be captain? There's no hand holding in Pokemon chess. If you want to pawn to your king, you can. But what about the Pokemon pros? Cybertron and Moxie Booster. <laughs> what? Did you just two turn me? <laughs> okay, let's just check back in with Vernius and Alpharad. If we have a look at the difference in the timers here, yes. Vernius is using a lot of time. He's a fucking chart looker. Yeah, he's a he's charter. He's a charter. Is Vernius going to see this coming? He only has a minute 30 left on the timer. Vernius is going to have to move his castle to avoid the fork that's set up. No, well, no, what can he, he has to move the pawn out the way or the king. He spotted it. Vernius only with a But oh, now he can oh, super effective that ghost. I know he can get a fork in normal chess if he just does dark to fire, then it's attacking the rook. Get the fork. I'm sure why he didn't go for the regular fork then. You know what? He's trying to hit that psychic pawn. Now he could get a double. He could get the pawn and go straight to the fork. Yep. What are those? What's a fork? I like he just doesn't. Here there it goes. is. Here and he he's goes. going in for the fork. He has to move the king. Okay, so I have to go here. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Yep. Nice. Oh, he moved his king into checkmate. Oh, he did. He put it in the range the of that rook. Oh. Um, okay, yeah. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. Wait, what? Oh, He's no, in no, the no. bishop! The no, bishop! No. The Claydol! The Claydol! Oh, what's going on? Claydol! Kill him! Yeah. Alfred, put him out of his misery! Oh my god! Bonus!
He did it again! <laughs> oh my god. He went from checkmate, moved into another checkmate, moved into a final checkmate. We're actually trying to navigate Mount Moon without Flash here. So at the end of round one, everyone was still getting familiar with the game of Pokemon Chess, but I could tell they were loving it. They just needed a little bit of advice. There are 16 different chess pieces, but there's 18 different Pokemon types. So you just don't pick Bug. Or normal. Yeah. Or normal, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Said, I said yeah. if yeah. anyone yeah. wins with a normal or bug type, you have my respect. What <laughs> would you rather have, Zach's respect or $1,000? Well, Let well, us know I'm, in the chat. I'm losing $1,000 and I don't respect myself, so where does that leave me? <laughs> <laughs> Great time to mention that this video is not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> but one way that you can help us out, if you like these four guys on the couch, Go and check out the Underdogs podcast. We release it every yeah. week on Sundays. Everything you could possibly want to listen to. And more. And more. And, and more. things you don't want to listen Way to. More, <laughs> so let's get into round two, where hopefully the matches will last a little bit longer. Oh no. Alfred has already won his next match. Oh really? no. Beating Captain Kid. Ooh, Ice Queen. Jinx, baby. Oh, Jesus. Right. Good game. Wait, yeah. how did that even... Our next match is Small Ant versus Moxie Boosted. Both seasoned Pokemon players, but how good were they at chess? My horse. Is it a rook? Is that what it's called? He's threatening this pawn with this uh, rock-type super effective Drachion, and that pawn can't go anywhere. That Cyndaquil is going to die. you got to move your queen onto the bishop file. Then if he moves that knight, you take the litten, and yep. then you take the king. Oh, bang, bang. That's what Moxie Booster should have done in that situation. Can we start saying a bit of, like, black rock or white rock? Because I don't know what the hell a uh, litten is. I think if I move the queen out to here, and then if they don't block me right now, I win. If he does not move this Bulbasaur here, the black it's pawn, he G -G. is gg So He's hopefully Moxie Booster catches onto this one. You can just move it forward one. Hopefully Moxie actually sees Order. it. No! God, please, no! 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 Oh, and it's GG. Moxie, what a good oh. job. Moxie boosted his way to death. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> okay, great. I just got three turned again, bro. This match has not ended instantly, so that okay. is good to see. Okay, let me give you the reasoning why Vernius moved that piece forward. Moving the psychic type there might bait Asteroid into taking with the electric pawn. Look at Nido Queen. You go up, take the electric type, Diagonal to the Geodude, and you Ooh. actually have checkmate oh my if Asteroid takes this Abra. Even if he does do that, I'm not really going to do much anyways. Actually, a genius, the Abra Gambit, as they know it. <laughs> <laughs> Every single play in Pokemon Chess is a Gambit. Okay, didn't opt to take it, so obviously Asteroid caught that, or he is... Oh god, I'm throwing! He, he caught, caught it. it. He caught it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This Abra's yeah. in a great spot. Mm. If, the, if the fairy pawn goes in, he loses his queen. I think I could just take. I think I just take here. Oh no, 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 no! Thank god I saw that. <laughs> yeah, he, he would've just. Bloop. Why is Nido Queen literally sitting in the back with the EXP share? <laughs> Get out! Dude, he's, he's, th he's thinking so many moves ahead. I have made a severe lapse in my judgment. Oh, dude, he's a genius. Little did we know, Vernius was a genius. He may not have as much Pokemon or chess experience as the other players, but what he did have was a secret weapon. Something that nobody could ever see coming. He actually read the rules. Oh! And it's technically fine because Castle Pitch! Woo! Castle. You can castle, you can castle out of check. check. That's actually, a move. It's called a crustle. Oh! oh. Yes. In normal chess, you can't castle if you're in check. But There's no check! That's true! There wasn't, yeah, <laughs> there wasn't a check. There wasn't a check. So, Vinny has managed to escape from danger, but now you're thinking, no, don't attack the fire pawn with Jigglypuff. It's not very effective. Well, actually, Vernius has seen a play that nobody else saw coming. So, yeah, I do want to take it. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, there's yeah. a crit! Yeah. If this is you right now, it's probably because you forgot there's critical hits in Pokemon Chess. Every single attack has a 1 in 16 chance to crit, which lets your piece move again. Similar to a super effective attack, but just at a random time without requiring any knowledge, planning, or skill. Alright, cool, cool. No, that was tight. That was tight. Nice crit, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Oh! That's crit. big. Crit. He can move in here, but he there's got... nothing really to do. And oh. if he moves it, he's gonna go into check. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, right? Get another pawn? What? 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 Wait. <laughs> you 
can't be serious! Oh, oh my god! god! Fun fact, every attack in Pokemon Chess also has a 10% chance to miss and do absolutely nothing. If this was chess, Vernius had a guaranteed win, but that would be boring. Pokemon games have a fun little thing called RNG, so I added that to Pokemon Chess as well. And although it might be the reason why Vernius lost this game to time, at least the players finally know all the rules. How you doing, side chat? I read it and see what y'all have to say, but I just, I don't want to risk looking like a cheater. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you, chat. Our final match in round two is Cybertron versus CJ. We're in another normal situation. What's this position called? <laughs> the staircase. Oh, what? I don't don't know. you know chess openings? No, I don't. I'm going to call this position the Hopcat. Thanks. It's got a big mouth, a big nose. Hey, what the fuck? Cybertron immediately goes on the offense and sends his queen in, which we know is a pretty good strategy. But CJ responds with an absolutely goated move. The super effective fork. Now, I know what you're thinking. Cybertron can just take the rook and the king can't take back because the queen's protected by the bishop and if he moves the king here, it opens up the nine towers, which is super effective, so he'll win no matter what. But we are talking about Aaron Cybertron Zeng here. This is a top four match of the 2013 Pokemon World Championship where Cybertron misses not one, not two, not three, not four, but five Will-O-Wisps in a row, cementing Aaron Zeng as the unluckiest Pokemon player alive. So what do you think happens when he has a guaranteed win lined up against CJ? Oh my god. Knight can take the queen oh, with the no! super effective. effective. Holy shit! Yeah! Yeah, Cybertron won anyway. But at the end of round two, the players had finally stopped plundering their kings and could actually start playing the game, which generally came down to two factors. Who knows the type matchup chart better and who has the better RNG? Like, imagine being a sponsored Pokemon player and then oh, you just mate. have to hit five stone edges in a row and then you lose your job. Is Pokemon the least competitive competitive game? The <laughs> least competitive competitive game? That's Pokemon Chess. Dude, that's the slogan. <laughs> Pokemon Chess, the least competitive. <laughs> we made the most competitive game the least competitive game. Did I just lose? No, dude. I can't even block it. All right, one again. Woo, yeah, Ice Queen, baby. Oh, that's resisted, so the queen cannot take. Oh. And it misses the attack. Oh. Misses the gibble. Oh, no, no way. way. That's the 10% miss. And that's the least competitive competitive game. Wait, so he... <laughs> Oh, that's oh, not a good play. That's checkmate. checkmate. That's Maybe. checkmate. He can just oh, fly on in. No, he doesn't, he doesn't even have And that's it. That was good. That was a great game. <laughs> no! Oh, huh. I think I win. <laughs> I am a fucking idiot. You, so I, I see you've mastered the discover check, huh? What, what is a discovered check? Do we win three 90-10 checks in a row? Let's see. All right, there's one. And we miss! If we go there, that'll force this queen to move. Is there anything that can threaten us? Ah! What? Before I do a stupid, wait, 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 wait. Before I pull a stupid. Good, I'm not being a doofus. I'm not being a doofus for this one. Okay, good. What? I win! Hey! <gasps> what? <laughs> no way! You know what? If you can crit me twice, I can crit you twice. Check this out. That's a super effective hit. <laughs> it's like totally not worth it. Let's do it though. Yes! <laughs> Take that! And this! <laughs> it's a double oh, super. Now he just gift swoops no. into the deli yeah. and JJ. Yeah. Wow! Sheesh! Ding ding ding. Ding. No, I have to take back with my pawn. And then they move the queen. No, I lose! Ah! Take with knight. Oh, you're right, I can. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. No! You son of a bitch. Oh, this guy's a comedian. It's like chess, but bullshit. No way. Oh, the dodge! Oh my god! I threw! I threw! I threw! Oh! I'm so good at this game! Yeah, yeah, we gotta we got get the king between these guys. Oh no! Let's see how Vernius can start to bring this back. 
No, don't do that. You lose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go! Thaddeus wants a rematch. <laughs> As the tournament headed into its final stages, there were two players that clearly stood above the rest. Alpharad and Cybertron. Alpharad used mind games to bait his opponents into a bad position and then punish them with the queen. Does he take the pawn? Uh-oh. Oh no, CJ! Oh, he's taking it. Oh, oh, he's no. taking it. Line is over. I'm gonna try to scare his ghost knight with a normal pawn. But he's oh moved. no, he's thrown. He is oh, absolutely no. thrown. That was not the play. All right, it worked. <laughs> There's no mercy from Alpha Red. He knows what he's going for, and if the opponent doesn't oh, spot it, then he immediately makes them feel bad. Yeah, he comes imagine up. spending three minutes thinking of that and then just getting killed in three seconds. Meanwhile, Cybertron, as expected, had the worst luck of anyone in the tournament, but used his superior Pokemon knowledge to win every single time. But before the grand final could begin, there was something bothering me. You see, I spent a lot of time making graphics for when a pawn promotes to a queen. There's a unique evolution for every single pawn, but none of the matches have even made it to the late game. So all the time spent coding it into the game would be for nothing unless somebody, anybody, could get a single pawn to the end of the board. Oh, and puts him in check. Discovered oh, check. Wow. Oh, discovered well check. Done. Which means he can take the rook and promote next turn. Oh, my wow. God. Oh, wiggly tough. Asteroid surely promotes that pawn now, right? It's going to be oh, a miss. True. Not a miss. Oh, that is possible. Not a miss. No! Oh, oh, he oh. The and now the rook can slide wow. in front of the pawn, block it from promoting, and take it on the next turn. Okay, okay, maybe that was a taste of my own medicine, but I was still determined to see a single pawn evolve. I just needed to find a match that was incredibly one sided, and uh, uh, is this Vernius blundering his queen? That's perfect. I have a matchup chart. Oh, oh, and he read the oh, oh, match. I would have done that. No, I would have done that. Sweet. Check your chart, kids. Check your chart when you're taking <laughs> your yeah, pawns. But if you do drop a cup of water on ice, guess what goes away? The, the ice. ice. <laughs> and that's what we've seen. <laughs> Wait, ground is good against rock, right? Yeah, that And then poison. Is. Wait and then electric. No, no, no. You can take the rock oh, as well. Oh, oh, baby, oh, oh, triple. Triple. Captain Kib was destroying him, which meant it was almost time for my plan, but there was still one way that Vernius could possibly win this match. I don't see a single other way it was going to go besides banking on what could be the win! Hey, Captain Kid, can you just promote a pawn for me, please? Because no one, we haven't seen it yet, and I spent a lot of time coding it into the game. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I got you, I got you. I'm being made an example of. This is a dismantling. Oh, oh here it comes. Here's a here it comes. Why did he do one? That's so disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how. Yes. The what if it just breaks the game? It could also break the game. Maybe nobody was meant to ever promote a pawn. I really don't think that's an issue. Come on, Pidgey. Fly, you beautiful bastard. <laughs> it's really not flying very fast. Oh, oh here we go. Oh! 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 Yes! Pidgey has been elevated. Wow. He even played the noise. Yeah, that's sick. it has the evolving sound. That's so cool, man. Is it's... this graphic stuck on our screen now? Yeah, the choose yeah. remote is stuck on the screen, but that's okay. All right, Captain Kid wins, and there were no bugs with the website. <laughs> And now it was time for the grand final between Alpharad and Cybertron. Now, this one was best of three, and in the true spirit of Pokemon chess, they decided to add even more RNG. Can I ask you a question? Why is there a bug type queen? I think they've randomized. <laughs> I think they might have randomized There's the team. There's no ice queens on the board. They say Magnus Carlsen forces his opponents into never before seen situations because he knows he can win. I like to think random teams in Pokemon chess is the same, and the winner is determined by pure skill. Mm. This uh, Ampharos is lined up with a Mudkip for a super effective kill here. Uh, Taking a kill the and retreat. Because it's a super effective no, no, on the no. flying oh, as well, right? A real, it's yeah. a double super oh, effective. Oh, he missed, no. the, he missed the double setup and now Alpharad will see it. Luckily for Alpharad, his opponent is Aaron Cybertron Zeng. But before Alpharad's PP got too big, Cybertron kept up the pressure. It's a free Victini to take with uh, for Cybertron. And he's going to do it. So the Queen's got to back it up now. Kick, kick them back. Back up that fat dumpy Ampharos. Alrighty. Okay. Look Doesn't at Alpharad's queen locked in jail. It's yeah, in the hive. What are you going to do with it? Bug type. Uh, just think, leave it there. Leave it there. Forget about it. I mean, best case scenario, you trade queens. But Alpharad actually knew there was a better case scenario against Aaron Cybertron Zeng. And the crit! 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 It's huge! He got oh, a oh, 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 oh. What the? 
I was Vesper Quinn uses a cheeky U-turn to attack, then quickly retreat, and Alpharad starts to bring the match back. Cybertron was crumbling. Oh, I didn't mean to move that! No! Oh my god, that was wrong. Yoink. <laughs> The time has started to run low heading into the late game. Cybertron has built a fortress around his king, which Alpharad starts to attack with Dino. Cybertron seems to ignore the attack and instead makes the brilliant play of moving Grimer. Alpharad's pawn can capture the knight, but now Cybertron sends Delibird in to deliver a brutal double check. The rook at the top is attacking the king as well. It's over. He's done. He won it's it. Checkmate. Oh my. He's opening up. He's clutched it. Unless he, he misses his oh. he's done it. Oh. No, he couldn't he could have moved his king across, but he didn't see the rook was opened up from such a bad position, but he finds that one move. Cybertron is now only one match away from becoming the Pokemon Chess World Champion, but Alpharad does what anyone would do after losing a Pokemon battle and goes straight to the center. He's got Taking control the of the center, which is the first step that you want. That's huge. Why is that good, Jordan? The center's just good. You take control of it the and then they can't move. The center's just good. But well, what's to say that the queen can't come out, take the Grimer in two turns and then put him in check in a quite compromising situation because there's not really anything protected. No, 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 right no Peter. The center's good. The center's good. The center's good. Yeah. A Mandibuzz comes out and launches an attack on the bishop, which is stuck because Psychic doesn't even affect Dark. Alfred's only option is to offer a queen trade. Go for the crit. Do it. <laughs> Do it. It's a 1 in 16 chance. Cybertron walks away with $1,000. Oh. That didn't happen. Of course, Aaron Cybertron Zeng doesn't get the crit, but now with both queens gone, we're heading into the late game, and Cybertron only has one minute left on the clock. If he doesn't move that pawn, the water marches forward. 40 seconds. Oh, oh no. Oh. And now the super the effective. Missed. Oh. oh, the pawns have traded. Oh, no, but absolutely. can the ghost just kill oh, the steel? Yeah, you're right. He doesn't no, do he it, doesn't though. Move. No, he that's, that's game. GG. Oh, oh, my goodness. goodness. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. Oh. The unluckiest Pokemon player alive. He had the win and he missed. And with 20 seconds on the clock, there was literally only one hope for Aaron Cybertron Zang. Trying to claw it back with 15 seconds left. He's targeting the king. It's check right now. You've got to try to take the pawn yard for a crit. Cybertron, you've got to go for the crit. Oh, if he gets a crit, he wins. Yep. Eight seconds. Eight what seconds. else are you going to do? Nothing. Roll the dice. It. Roll it. That's crazy. A thousand dollar critical hit. Wowie, that's why oh you're tuning into Pokemon God. Chess, folks. The world's best Pokemon Chess player is officially Aaron Cybertron Zeng. And that is why it's, it's the, the least competitive, competitive, competitive game. game. Pokemon Chess. Should we really be advertising it as that? <laughs> fun. Do you want to try and advertise competitive after that <laughs> shit? And if you want to try the least competitive, competitive game, you can. It's live at PokemonChess.com and it has been up for about a month. I'm also going to be streaming viewer battles this Thursday at 9pm Eastern Standard Time. So come on through, give it a try. I promise the game is actually really fun. What did you think of the game <laughs> overall? Dude, um, it, it legit was so fun. Like, I, I think the the RNG part of it was really interesting. What was like the, the criticism we had? We, we had like one critique. We don't have that uh, here actually. Cut the call.